Phil is a game where there's two pixels. Uh, there's a red and there's a blue pixel. The blue pixel is you. You have to try not to get caught, and when you get caught, you turn green. And you gotta fill up the whole screen. But the whole purpose is for you to fill in the whole, fill in the board so it can be one solid color. It was fun coding the games. In the Dot Man, you wanna make it through the maze without being caught. Same way Pac-Man wants to get all the dots before he's caught by a ghost. You can use the arrow keys or the uh, gamer keys, WASD, to move around. You want to navigate through the maze. You don't want to hit a wall or a dot, which is part of the maze. And if the other player, the dot, catches you, your game is over. We agreed on making a game like Centipede. You're like the shooter guy, and you have to shoot the caterpillar and you have to try to destroy it before it gets to the bottom and eats you up. It doesn't move like the centipede in the game centipede. It moves down the screen and then once it reaches the end, it goes back to the beginning. I call it Invasion of the Dots. So in the game, it's like a bunch of red dots and your character is a blue dot and is trying to um, defend against the um, red dots. So the name of our game is called Falling. The character itself isn't technically falling, it's rather the obstacles that are moving up. You move the sprite around, you try not to get hit by the red ones. When you hit the red blocks, it kind of it degrades a part of your character, and when you hit the green blocks, it makes part of your character green, and every time you get all, since you have four kind of like lives on your character, every time you get all for red, part of the walls on the side come in, and then you also get more of the blocks coming up, which makes the game harder. If you want to beat the game, you're probably going to want to have a good knowledge of old classic games. 